Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Star Child Tarot with the monthly astrology for June for all the signs and today we're doing Capricorn and don't forget to check out your Sun, Moon, your Rising or Venus as well and we're going to look at the month for June, we'll look at the Tarot, your love messages and guidance. So don't forget to check out my other channel, Some Magic Inspirations, my card shop and my Patreon page. Thank you for your support, I really appreciate that. Please leave me a comment, I like to hear what you've got to say. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like and share, thank you so much. So what does Capricorn need to know for June? What does Capricorn need to know for June? Capricorn need to know for June. We have the Five of Wands. So this is my own tarot in my shop, Artistic Tarot. Queen of Coins. Four of Wands. Ten of Swords. Eight of Cups, King of Wands, Page of Wands, Seven of Wands. So a lot of Wands energy here. Yeah, a lot of Wands energy here. So we've got the Five of Wands clarified by the Eight of Cups. So Five of Wands is conflict. So you're in conflict with somebody possibly. Um... And you walked away from that conflict, okay? Um, you could have had internal conflict as well. But you walked away from a situation, I feel. And the Queen of Coins, I feel this is your energy here. And clarified by the King of Wands. So you could have been connecting with a fire sign here. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we've got Four of Wands. So I feel that you wanted stability. You wanted some sort of commitment. Um... And maybe that didn't materialise. And we've got the page of wands. So it could be a message coming through. Okay, a message of passion. We'll, we'll go a bit deeper with it. We've got the ten of swords. So I feel it caused you a lot of pain. <clears throat> a lot of worry. Maybe a lot of stress, depression. But the good news is the ten. You're at the end of that cycle. Coming out of that phase. Okay, of conflict and disappointment. Um, and we've got seven of wands, so you're quite guarded right now. Okay, you've got strong boundaries. <coughs> so let's have a look. Why is the five of <coughs> five wands there? We've got the hangman energy. So maybe you stayed in that situation longer than you should have done. Okay, you, you gave it a chance. Okay. And yeah, four of cups. You feel there was a missed opportunity for you with that with that connection. And then four of wands. We got the sun. So, you know, you felt better for walking away. And I feel you've got this coming out in your life. Happiness and joy coming towards you. Why is the sun there? Six of swords. Yeah, by moving away from the past energies, past people, past situations, the sun's going to come out. We've got the sun in that image as well, the six of swords. Okay, the sun is going to come out. You're giving yourself a chance of a fresh start. And the Ten of Swords clarified by the King of Cups here. Okay, there could be a new love ahead. This could be of a water sign. Okay, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody that is in the, in touch with their feelings. Okay. And then, you know, they want to express that. And Eight of Cups clarified by the Eight of Wands. So I think there's going to be messages coming back in. You know, there's going to be exchange of messages coming in for you um <clears throat> why is the king of wands there We've got eight swords so you know i feel the connection with the king of wands you were very much up in your head about it um you know you felt trapped maybe in the situation maybe there was a lack of give and take in the situation and we've got nine of cups 
Yeah, you wanted a wish fulfillment, you know, and I don't feel that this connection did give you that because you were up in your head rather than in your feelings. And we've got a message coming in from the, with the page of wands there. We've got five of swords energy, defeated energy. Yeah, I mean, you felt defeated over this situation um, in the past, okay? Um, where's the five of swords now? We've got three of cups. Maybe there was another person involved with that three of cups energy here. Okay, there could have been another person involved there. So why is the seven of wands there? We've got nine of wands energy, yeah. So, you you know, wounded warrior, you went through a lot through that situation. But you've, you've gained in wisdom and you know that you want to first start with somebody. And we have got that king of cups there. And, yeah, you've, you've spent time doing some healing on yourself, you know, retreating to know what you truly want. So can you tell us what an outcome might be for Capricorn? We got the chariot. There will be movement forward for you here. There is movement forward, and we got the wheel of fortune. So a new new cycle in your life is starting here. There's a new beginning in your life coming in. So let's get some love messages. Let's go a bit deeper with that. What love messages do we have for Capricorn for June? What love messages for Capricorn for June? What love messages for Capricorn for June? What love messages for Capricorn for June? Yeah, we've got healing from the past. So it's very important to do that. And we had that four of swords come out. Yeah, work on self-love, self-care. You know, focus on yourself. Okay. It looks like the message coming in, I love you. Um, okay, this could be self-love, but there could be somebody messaging you. Because we did have that page of wands energy there. We've got passion, love and desire coming in. A joyous love. And we've got reunion. So for some of you, there could be a reunion, okay? And um, I was feeling that, actually, with that message. That could be someone from the past, okay, that reaches out to you. But that could be for some of you. But for others of you, there is a new person coming in. And we've got seductive energy. So you're in a seductive energy. You're attracting a lot of attention. And we've got take a chance on love. Okay. And we have got that reunited again. And it feels so good. So, um, and past life memories. So some it's a soulmate, a connection coming in. It's a soulmate. And some it could be a reunion with somebody in this that you've just broke up from. So just let's get some final messages. Final messages for Capricorn. Yeah, we've got your angels and guys are close by, so they're wanting to help you here. So call on them to help you. Yeah, focus on healing. Okay, focus on your own healing. And we've got passion sore. So, you know, you are going to get into a very uh, passionate connection here, I feel. So I'm going to leave it there, Capricorn. Sending you love and blessings. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. Bye for now.